Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. What's up, guys? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. I hope you're doing well. You had an amazing Easter like I did. My church service was so full. Had incredible worship music, incredible, incredible preaching. So, man, to God be the glory, he is risen, right? I got a fun little uh, strumming video for you guys and gals out there. If you're a complete beginner, this can maybe take you to the next level. That's my hopes. So the thing you're going to make sure you're going to do, first of all, make sure you're using a flimsy pick. I tell people all the time, if you're a beginner, make sure your pick is really flimsy. It's going to help you on this strumming. So if you're doing all kinds of lead stuff, picking up and down the neck, you want a little stiffer pick. But if you're a beginner, uh, make sure it's really, really flimsy. The other thing you want to do is we're, we're just talking about strumming patterns, kind of beginner strumming patterns. We're just going to lock in the strings. So that instead of trying to play certain chords, just get your whole hand and just squeeze the strings to mute the strings. Because what the thing you want to do is make sure, and I go over this in my strumming DVD, I'll put it right here in, in detail for an hour and a half of lessons if you want that. If you, if you struggle with strumming, I highly recommend that. Your right hand is like a drum. So you're going to think of your strum. Boom, 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 boom. So this right hand is just like a drummer. It's controlling everything. So again, when you grip your strings, to mute this, grip your guitar here on the neck, to mute the strings. The first one you're going to do is a. It's going to be all down strums, and you're going to really strum that first strum. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, one. So this is the first strumming pattern I always teach beginners to work on is the hard. So whenever you're on a chord, it's the hard first strum with three light strums following. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can even another thing. When, let's say you're playing a G chord. And if you want to do chords, that's fine. Or you can just take your hand. Make sure you hit all the notes in that chord. Or for example, on this, if you're just gripping the guitar. All six, then just the bottom three or four. hard strum of all the strings in the bottom three or four. One of the things I wish someone would taught me as a beginner is especially on the up strums, you don't, if you say you're playing a G chord, but when you play a G chord, you strum all six notes. On an up strum, you don't come back up on all six. Again, nobody ever taught me that at first. On those up strums, all you're doing with the up strum is just keeping the rhythm. So you're just plucking the bottom two or three each time you go up. So full. On this first one, you're doing all down. So that's your first one. The second one I always say to do is I use this on so many songs. You know, keep that guitar neck. You're gonna go, you're gonna pluck the top two or three strings, maybe the top two, pluck down, up, down, up, down. So So pluck down, down, up, down, up, and then start back over. So remember, pluck the top ones down, all the strings, and then the bottom two or three, down, up, down, up. So. What this does, it, it teaches you like control of your hand to not be like, to have kind of what, what, what's like a timing exercise so it's, so you're plucking some of the strings, all of the strings, then down, up, down, up to keep that steady rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, for example, the one is the first pluck. The two is the full pluck. The three, four is the down, up, down, up. But again, music is all about a rhythm and a flow and a timing, kind of like a dance. Start out 
with this thing just kind of with the strings muted. So plug down, down, up, down, up, plug down, down, up, down, up, plug down, down, up, down. And then if you want to get more advanced, like I said, and you start, um, you want to try some different chords, that's fine. Uh, get a little more advanced. And then the third strumming pattern I would say to use is. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Same thing. So it's basically the same thing without that pluck. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Always and all of these start out just by gripping that neck to take one more variable. Anytime you're learning guitar, if you can isolate each variable, kind of like a science experiment back in the grade school days, remember? If you could isolate each variable to see what you're good at or what you need to work on, maybe your 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 fingers aren't very calloused yet and your chords aren't sounding very clear, but you can at least get that timing down. And remember, on the down strums, you can use all the strums, all the strings, but on the up strums, you're just plucking those bottom two or three. So if you're a beginner, this alone will help you so much in your strumming. Maybe even that's a little exercise to kind of work on moving your, your left hand, but not too advanced. So you start up here. Two. And so forth. And then, like I said, if you get a little more advanced, you can kind of use the Matt McCoy four chords where you lock in the two bottom strings. Fifth and sixth is your G. When I say C, all I do is slide the top two fingers down, the fourth and fifth, and strum the bottom five. And D, the third string. Learning the four chords, the, the G, C, E minor, D chord, I always say this way, it's going to help you get a, a sound you know faster. Lock on the two bottom strings, G, C, D. And so forth. All right, guys, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. I got tons and tons of beginner guitar videos on there. I got strumming DVDs. When I say DVDs, it's not, it's actually a, a, it's a file sent to you instantly upon purchase. So it's not a hard copy DVD or anything. So all kinds of beginner guitar videos, songbooks, that kind of thing at countrysongteacher.com. We'll keep rocking and rolling some more lessons this week. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would sure appreciate it. Love you guys. God bless you.